Hello guys, let's check this out. Negative 1 times negative 1 is equal to positive 1. In other words, negative times negative is always positive. We literally use this rule almost every day in our math class, but have you ever realized the proof of this? Well, in today's video, that is what we'll be doing. But before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're new. And also, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Without further ado, let's dive right into it. Let's say I have two same numbers. M and M. If I subtract one from the other, just like this, the result will always be zero. In the same way, zero minus zero is equal to zero. But for the sake of this proof, we have to admit that M is not necessarily zero. In other words, M is never equal to zero. In the same way, if we have two numbers which are the same, in this case, let's say minus m, minus m. If we subtract one from the other, the result will always be zero. And to make this look nice mathematically, let's put this in parentheses just like this. Now, two different things are equal to the same thing. m minus m is equal to zero. Minus m minus minus m is also zero. What it means is that this is equal to this. So mathematically, you will have m minus m is equal to minus m minus minus m, just like this. Now what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to add m to this side of the equation. And in mathematics, whatever you do to the left-hand side of the equation, you must do the exact same thing on the right. Therefore, I'm going to add m just like that. And now we can rewrite this equation in such a way that we can have m minus m plus m right here. And this is equal to this m over here minus this m. Then minus minus m, this one. Cool. Now, if we put this in parentheses and then this in parentheses as well, we can clearly see that m minus m over here is equal to zero right from this equation. So on the left-hand side, we'll be left with only m. And this is equal to, in the same way, m minus m is also zero. So here we'll be left with minus minus m, just like that. Then let's keep this m over here. So we will have m is equal to negative 1 because here we have 1 here, but just that we don't write, right? Then times minus m. Minus m is also the same as negative 1 times m. Negative 1 multiplying m. So we can also do this. It's the same thing, right? So let's copy this and then paste here. So we will have negative 1 times m. You can even choose not to bring the parenthesis here, but it's okay. Now, because of this condition over here, m is not equal to 0, we can divide each side of this equation by m. If not this, dividing each side by m wouldn't be possible because we can assume that m is equal to 0. But here we are saying m is not 0. So we can divide each side of this equation by m so that this and this will go then on the left hand side any number divided by itself is one so we can say that m over m is basically one and this is equal to negative one times negative one and that is pretty much it you can see that this is the same as what is here so this is the proof guys i hope you found the video useful Subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching and see you again on the next video. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah.